five minute fiddle, got me fiddle, and my name's Ben. So today will be the first video of looking at songs in certain keys, and I'm gonna go with a key, a video, and a few songs within that key, and just talk about those songs, and little interesting things, maybe some little important tips in, in the song that I find uh, fairly useful. So instead of starting with the keys, C, F, G, that kind of thing, I thought maybe start with B flat, a key that gets heading into the more tricky territory. B flat's actually okay, but um, I thought I'd start with B flat, you gotta start somewhere, and there's some real nice tunes within B flat as well, and then in future videos I'll look at the harder keys moving on from there, E flat, A flat, D flat, so on and so on, and then uh, we can look at the minors. I mean, there's so much scope, isn't there, with with all these keys and all the tunes in these keys. So B flat, the first tune I think of is Anthropology, a Charlie Parker bebop standard that's a fantastic song for using as an exercise as well as playing on a gig. It's, it's great because there's, there's a lot of notes. It, it can be a, a bit of a finger twister. But it's also great because it's over a very well used chord progression, which is the rhythm changes. So songs like I Got Rhythm, um, Lester Leaps In and that kind of thing, they are the same chord progression. So if you can get your fingers around Anthropology, it'll help with plenty of other tunes as well. I've always thought it was important to make every note very clear. So you can practice it starting slower and then. You get as fast as you want or as swinging as you want, as slow as you want. A big tip for string players, for songs like this where there's a lot of moving around, a lot of fingers going all over the place, try and make a lot of use out of the fourth finger, the little finger because it will help with not crossing strings so much. For instance, the little passage at the start of the bridge. And just playing the E with the fourth finger at the end of that saved me crossing strings again. So this is what it would look like without. And you've got a little bit more crossing and obviously to try and condense that, it becomes more fluid, less kind of awkward crossing throughout the whole thing. Added to that as well, to, to save crossing strings even more, change positions when you can. Um, so, go up to the, the third position. So using the fourth finger where you can and changing positions where you can, I think it makes life, certainly I find it makes my playing life a, a lot easier if you practice that way and strengthen that, that little finger as well. That's anthropology. It's definitely worth having that in your in your arsenal of songs, I would say. Looking at uh, something in a different feel, a different time. I was thinking it in a gig. It's nice to have that variety of different time signatures, as well as all the you know all the other bits of variety, different keys and stuff. But different time signatures certainly helps. Different feels, different rhythms. And this one is "Someday My Prince Will Come," and this is a waltz, a jazz waltz. So when I play this tune. I like to try and have a, a rhythm in my head. And that tends to be for the, for this jazz waltz style. Like, da, 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 da. And if you voice it out with the bow. And then that will come out in your playing if you if you have that rhythm. Obviously, it's easier when there's a drummer or a rhythm player. So I think one thing that's useful with this is to play alone, practice the feel alone over the chords in your head, go round them, go over them with this feel, this three four three four feel rather. And finally, the infamous song that's in B flat, Cherokee. This is a great song to play because it's got a lot of different chords in and a lot of different ways it moves around and stuff and some people do it really really fast some people not so much but however you do it it's tricky however whichever speed I get a bit carried away with this one because to begin with when I'm playing the tune the tune's um, not very it's not very note heavy shall we say and then uh, so if I was going to 
feels quite slow. But then you go. Then you come to the middle of the song and you've gone from B flat and then it goes all around these different keys. And this is why it's such a good one to practice and, and play at a gig. It's very interesting to play and it's a great practice one as well. Because you go from B flat, then you straight away go into your C sharp minor, your F sharp to the B and then B minor, so on and so on. And that's why it's so good. So maybe practicing slow is obviously a great idea. But um, it do, I mean, it doesn't matter how fast you play, it's still, it's still tricky, you know. Advice for me is don't get carried away with that initial melody, thinking that, oh, there's not many notes going on, you know, I can, uh, I can play it so fast because then you'll be into dangerous territory, fast territory. <laughs> But then you get to the middle and you've got to keep that speed going throughout all those real tricky uh, chords, you know? But it's a really good one, like I say, to practice. Um, and really get your fingers around them, really highlight all of those different chords. The tune may feel slow, but it sure as hell isn't when you get soloing. <laughs> Obviously, for the whole key of B flat, it's worth just practicing, you know, your scales, and I, I say it all the time, your arpeggios and your different inversions of these, and it really will help. But if you do jump straight into these songs in B flat, start, start slower. And as you get more used to them, you'll pick it up to the speed you want to pick it up to. So there you go, there's some ideas in B-flat, some tunes that are quite prominent, some little tips within them. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing this with the other keys, with the or harder keys. Next time I'll look at E-flat and then going on from there. And tunes within. I'll see you next time for some more five-minute fiddle. Do you want to see me balance this on my nose? Oh, I can't do it today. Sweaty nose. Thank <laughs> you.